So guys, I messed up. Buying a salvage Ferrari with what I consider mystery damage sight unseen was a pretty big risk, one that I thought paid off when the car effortlessly moved off the transport truck. That is until I heard this noise. No way. Being that we're working on a Ferrari here, the problem seems a hundred times worse than if we were working on a Ford. But either way, a car is a car, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person in history to make this mistake. If you can learn from your mistakes, you'll become better at the job at hand. However, overfilling the engine oil? Come on! I admit, it's a stupid mistake, especially since I bought a shop manual before the car was even delivered to me. The first maintenance section in the shop manual is all about engine oil, and it clearly states, in red. It'll Controlo del lavello deve essere esuito a motore caldo. Or for non-Ferrari speak, the oil level must be checked with the engine warm. If I just opened the manual and read these few words, it would have saved several hours of cleanup. After the oil change and all the engine bay cleanup, it's time to try again. This is the moment of truth. What a relief. I mean, I just couldn't imagine this car was delivered, what, 72 hours ago, and it ran just fine coming off the truck. I'm guessing something to do with the car being tilted on its side while I was taking the wheels off, and it was probably just missing right off the bat. I took that as a knock, shut it off, thought it was low on oil, but here we are. It ran great just now. There are some condition issues up close if you look at a few things. So what I want to do right now is get this car nice and clean, get these bugs off the windshield, and then we'll be able to give a better assessment. I've already gone over all the issues here on the passenger side. Paint-wise, the only thing we need to take care of is remove this rocker, get it repainted. But what we're doing first and foremost is getting that floor repaired. I want to see if the top actually works. I haven't tested it yet. Now it doesn't want to start. Put on the brake. What is going on? Right, here we go again. Foot on the brake. Jeez, what a strange, strange car. And right back here is one of the three fuse boxes that's in this car. Now that code that we did get, it is electrical related. So there's a chance that maybe it's just a blown fuse, although it's highly unlikely. We'll check that out once we get all of this torn apart. Ninety nine percent of the time, at least in my experience, intermittent and electrical issues go hand in hand with each other. And so I've got a lot of diagnosing to do.